What's up everyone, this is 4501 Studios and for today's video we're going to be finding some goofs in the diseasel. I hope you enjoyed. Alright, so in the beginning of the episode, we see a two tank engine twins called Bill and Ben. Both have nameplates, a small chimneys, two four wheels, I mean four wheels, And they have a small plaque cap. Bill and Ben hold china clay. The china clay is used for paper, pottery, and more stuff. The twins are now kept busy pulling the trucks for engines on the main line. And for ships in the harbor. And here comes the first goof. If we look right there, we can see the crew's hands pulling the string from Bill and Ben. So when Bill and Ben came back, they discovered that their trucks were gone. They returned to find them all gone. The twins were most surprised. The drivers examined the patch of oil. That's a diesel, they said. It's a wattle, asked Bill. A diesel, I think, replied Ben. There's a notice about them in order. Ben tells Bill about him having a cop in his smoke box once. It is. Stop arguing, you two, laughed their drivers. Let's go and rescue... And here comes the next goof. If you look at this guy's arm, we can see that there's a little piece of sting attack there. us away like the truck. He won't magic us, replied their drivers. We'll more likely magic him. Now listen what Ringo Star says. Listen, he doesn't know your twins, so we'll take away your names and numbers. Hold on a minute. Bill and Ben don't have numbers, they only have nameplates. This doesn't make any sense. This has to be a goof. So Bill and Ben set it off. But if you look right there, you can see some studio equipment sticking out. But it just keeps on getting better. When Bill and Ben pass the station, there's some more studio equipment. Then... Bill took his place. But as Bill puffed up the Boko, we can see that there's some more studio equipment in the top right hand corner. The diesel locked up. Do you mind? Yes, said Bill, I do. I want my trucks, please. These are mine, said the diesel. Go away. Bill pretended to be frightened. You're a big bully, he whispered. You'll be sorry. And he, he back, was. Behind the truck. But when Ben backed up, we could see that Boko's eyes are wonky. It's on the other side. Ben now came forward. Truck stealer! This man he ran away too. Bill took his place. Oh yeah, when when Ben took his place, and when he backed up, we can see that the track jumped up. Dang, those engines are so fast. This went on and on till the diesel's eyes nearly popped out. Stop! You're making me giddy! The two engines gazed at him. Are there two of you? Yes, we're twins. When they explained they were twins, the camera seems to shake a little bit. I might have known it. Just then, Edward bustled up. 
Villain Ben, why are you playing here? We're not playing, protested Bill. Edward severely. Wait a minute. Bucko was not taking his trucks. I mean, it was not stealing. He was just borrowing them. But then Edward explained what Bucko. This engine is a Metropolitan Vickers diesel electric type two. But when Bucko rolled his eyes, we can see a little wire attached to him. We're sorry, Mr. Uh, never mind, the diesel smiled. Call me Boko. I'm sorry I didn't understand about the trucks. In the restored version, there used to be studio equipment in the top right-hand corner. That's all right, then, said Edward. Now off you go, Bill and Ben. Fetch Boko's trucks, then you can take this one. There's no real harm in them, he said to Boko. But they're maddening at times. Boko chuckled. Maddening, he said, is the word. And this marks the end of the episode. Alright, you guys, so those were all the goofs that I found in the Diesel. I never find this many goofs, and I never seen all three studio equipment and the crew members. But anyway, having said that, if you guys didn't saw a goof that I didn't point out, Leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you all have a great day.